डेस्टिनेशन ऑस्ट्रेलिया प्रोमोटिंग ऑस्ट्रेलियन एजुकेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ नेपलीज डायस्पोरा इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया को नॉर्दर्न टेरिटरी स्थित डार्विन शहर में रहकर नेपाली को वृद्धि विवास और सांस्कृतिक विविधता को विषय में जानकारी कराने उद्देश्य का साथ नेपलीज एसोसिएशन इन नर्दर्न टेरिटरी एनएनटी रुपिटर मीडिया को संयुक्त प्रयास में इंटरैक्शन अबाउट डेवलपमेंट अफ नेपलीज डायस्पोरा इन नर्दर्न टेरिटरी विषय एक छलफल कार्यक्रम को आयोजना डारून हार्ट फुटबल क्लब राज्य स्तरम प्रीमियर लीग खेलने पेलो नेपाली फुटबल क्लब हो तस्त उक्त कार्यक्रम में डारविन संबंधी कपोकल्पित भ्रम चिर्ते आपू डारविन आए पी मत्र यहाँ को वास्तविकता को बारे में ठह पाए चार्ल्स डारविन विश्वविद्यालय स्नाकोत्तर तह उत्तीर्ण कर सुशांत खतिड़ा ने जानकारी दूनभ what is the expectation and what is the reality so when i was researching about universities to go to in australia one thing that i came across a lot is that a lot of people told me a lot of things about darwin and northern territory which is absolutely not true that is one thing that i experienced a lot and even today i'm i'm also working in sydney as a future international student advisor and i talk to international students on a everyday basis i talk to at least 30 to 40 students prospective students who are residing in nepal in different parts of nepal and also in sydney and melbourne and even today i'm so surprised that they have a lot of myths about darwin a lot a lot of myths about northern territory which is absolutely not true. even people who are in sydney even nepalese who are in melbourne so that was my that my case was also pretty much the same when i decided to come to darwin a lot of people told me that there are no jobs in darwin and i came here and i saw that there are plenty of jobs and that's one thing that you don't have to worry about when you come to judge darwin and another thing is people think darwin is so remote and they think that it's so hot as middle east This is also a myth that we have to bust in future if we want to bring more people here, or if we want that northern territory's economy has to thrive because of that peace community. Then that's also a myth we have to bust. Another very uh, widely popular myth is that a fear of wild animals, crocodiles are walking on the street, and then. You might be driving around on the street of Java, and the crocodile might come by. All of these kind of things are quite popular. And more than Nepalese who are in Nepal, people who are in Sydney, Melbourne, Queensland, Victoria, they are the ones who are spreading these kind of things. This is what I found. Now, these myths has to be busted because we Nepalese we have a big impact in other territories economy. And if more people come here, more Nepalese come here, if Nepalese community thrive. It will also help the entire community to us, and it is help for us as well. So it is important that we this week has to be busted. I must add one thing here that uh, Professor Scott Bowen's love for Nepal is quite admirable. He had just come back from Nepal, and we had a meeting our our team senior global, and he had a, a meeting, and then I expressed him a certain thing about Nepal, and right now. Because CDU has initiated, CDU has hired certain future international student advisors who talk to just to talk to people and bust these myths, just to talk to prospective students and tell them this is what Darwin is, this is my experience, this is what NT is. You don't have to worry. If you come here, you'll get this sort of opportunities. So this is one thing that CDU is doing. Doing is quite commendable. It's giving out the right information to a lot of people out there, thousands of families. Are getting right information because of this uh, initiatives, which I found I find very commendable. And I think NT is a land of opportunity. And another thing that before I came here, I didn't know that there are a lot of Nepalese. I thought that I wouldn't meet any Nepalese. I thought I would just meet Australians, Aussies, and other Nepalese people. After coming here, I was surprised that there are so many Nepalese. And it feels quite welcoming. And it feels quite good here to see a lot of Nepalese helping other Nepalese. Um, I have not known many of you, but few of you I've known here, and I've had a very good relationship with them. One of them is Krista here, Sita there, and Magenda there. So it feels good to come here. Anti is a very good place for Nepalese students to 
come in terms of opportunity, in terms of career prospect, or in terms of education. So we have to bust those means and we have to bring more students to us and at least community time and at least community help and to time. That's what I like to say. Destination Australia, promoting Australian education and development of Nepalese diaspora in Australia.